Hey everybody, I have our cards for the week. This is a super exciting week for me. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I hope that you all felt very loved, whether you're in a relationship or not. We're all so glad that you're here and that you're part of this world that we're going through. So um, happy Valentine's Day. And also tomorrow, Sedona Serenity comes out. I jokingly call this book Coma to Lovers, but if it is, <laughs> Sleeping Beauty with a Werewolf. Um, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys will all check that out. It will be out tomorrow morning. Um, and I have cards for us for this week. Are you ready? I did have my primary guide, Morgan, draw the cards for us. So let's see what we got. First up. Six of Pentacles. So I love this card because the Six of Pentacles is all about charity. Pentacles is the element of earth. So these are earthly goods, our earthly body. These are traditionally the health and money cards. And the Six is that you have enough to give back. And of course, on, on this card, you can see the the money there, but she is also holding these scales, which can be time. So don't forget, if you are giving back, it doesn't have to be your money, it can be your time. So help somebody out this week. All right, next up, the Eight of Pentacles. This is going to be a good health and money week, guys. So the Eight of Pentacles, you can see she's been storing them up here. So it goes in a cycle from Ace to Ten. So the Eight is that it's almost time. You have been managing your money or your health very well, and you are about to see that all pay off. So this week, keep an eye on how you've been taking care of yourself or your bank account and uh, give some gratitude for what you've got. And finally, we have the Eight of Swords. So that's interesting. We got two eight cards. Um, anyway, the Eight of Swords. So swords, remember, is the element of air. I'm trying to get it focused. There we go. Is the element of air. So that's our thoughts. And if you think about it, um, you know, you need air to breathe, but you can't touch it. And your thoughts seem real in your head, but they're not actually out in the world. So these cards are usually our fears, our um, can be anxiety or that kind of thing. And you'll notice that the eight, no matter what deck, she's almost all always holding a blindfold over her eyes. And the thing about the Eight of Swords is you can see the swords are, they are around her, but it's wide open. All she has to do is walk forward. So when this card comes up, a lot of times this is a clue from the universe that there is a situation where you feel trapped. And this card is telling you, take off that blindfold. You're not trapped. You can walk right out. So any situation this week that you have where you feel like I'm trapped, I can't get out of this. Remember this card and take off that blindfold and go, you know what? I'm not trapped. It's all in my head, right? All right. And then for our Oracle card, um, I had her draw from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck. I've had this deck for a few years, but I've never really used it often. Um, the last six months I have started and it's a really beautiful deck. So I thought it would be fun for us to use a card from that. And we got the Wise Woman of Wonderland. Isn't that a pretty card? You can see the rabbit there. So this card is all about your integrity and also making compromises. So this card is about not giving up your 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 personal integrity in order to smooth things over. So this week, watch out for situations where you feel like you are being asked to compromise too much. Don't give up too much of yourself. Your integrity is important and your self-love is important. So if the situation comes up this week where you feel like you're giving too much of yourself away, remember this card and take a step back because you don't have to do that. Um, there are compromises that will not challenge your personal integrity. Those are the ones you should make. All right, so let's wrap it up going to be a good health and money week. We got the six of pentacles. So remember to give back. Look for ways you can give back this week. And if it's not with your cash, do it with your time. And if this is related to a health issue, um, call somebody up and go, let's be walking buddies six feet apart with our masks on, right? <laughs> so 
Next up, we got the Eight of Pentacles. You have been saving or taking care of your health really well, and you are about to see the benefit of that payoff. So I always feel like this card is telling you, don't stop, you're almost there, right? So keep it up, you're doing great. And finally, we got the Eight of Swords. So this week when you, I feel like these two cards are going together. So this week when you're in a situation where you feel like you're trapped, Remember this card, the wise woman of Wonderland and go, you know what? I am smarter than this and I'm going to take off the blindfold and I'm not going to compromise so much that I'm giving up my own integrity, right? These two really do go together. So this week when something comes up, I hope you'll remember these cards. You'll go, oh yeah, I'm going to take off the blindfold and I am not going to compromise so much that it's hurting me, right? I hope that you all have a great week. Don't forget to like the video so that YouTube shows it more. And please subscribe and share with your friends so they can get a reading. And if you would like, I would love <laughs> um, iced tea from Starbucks. And the coffee link is down there if you would like to give me a tip. And if you would like a private reading, I do private 30-minute readings through Zoom. And there is a link down there for that as well. And if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. I always try to answer. And thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys have a super week ahead. Don't forget to check out Sedona Serenity. It is a wild book. I promise you will be entertained. <laughs> Thanks so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.